2023 marks seven years since I made my very first capsule wardrobe, which has been a recurring theme here on my channel ever since. I've made countless videos about how to get started, what to be aware of, general misconceptions and things to avoid. And then my latest video, which was some thoughts on how to go about it more realistically. And I think today's video is going to be a great follow up to that one. With the rise in popularity of capsule wardrobes as a method to become a more conscious consumer, you could be tempted to believe that a shift is finally happening, that we're finally starting to realize that less really is more. But how can we be so sure capsule wardrobes are really working? And is it really the ultimate solution and the best way forward when you want to minimize your wardrobe and take those first vital steps toward slow fashion? That's exactly what we'll discuss in today's video. As always, if you don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, let's just start with a brief introduction, even though I might be repeating myself here. So a capsule wardrobe is a collection of clothing that is composed of interchangeable items to maximize the number of outfits that can be created from your wardrobe. This will make getting dressed far easier and supposedly it will eliminate that feeling of never having anything to wear. And therefore it's a great tool to become a more conscious consumer. So I've read countless articles about capsule wardrobes, especially the past year. So even though I feel like I know the method very well and I know what works for me, I always kind of try to update myself on the matter. So there are those who praise the method, myself included, when it's done correctly, that is. There are those who have tried it and have decided it just wasn't for them. And then there are even critics talking against capsule wardrobes too. And I really wanted to address this diverse look upon capsule wardrobes in today's video because I think it's only natural that we're not all hooked on the concept. As human beings, we have a tendency to think very black white when discussing certain topics, which is something I had a chat with my good friend and YouTube colleague, Elizabeth Tempo about recently. She wrote a post on Instagram about the risk of this black white thinking, especially when it comes to slow fashion. And I think it's the same with capsule wardrobes. I think we need to keep an open mind. We need to have a nuanced discussion and just come to terms with the fact that this is a great method for some people and for for others, not so much. So it doesn't mean you cannot find your own way into slow fashion. Capsule wardrobes are not necessarily the answer for everyone. With that, let's just list a few of the pros and cons of having a capsule wardrobe. It gives you a clear overview of what you have in your wardrobe because you'll only keep out what you can actually and will actually wear the coming season. It makes it easier to put together outfits because the main part of your wardrobe will be more interchangeable. It can potentially cheat you to make peace with your own true style, thus be a vital step towards slow fashion. It can also help elongate the life of certain pieces of clothing you store away as you'd be giving them a break from wear. Cons. It may leave you feeling restricted to a very specific number of items, thus killing creativity, instead of looking at requirements like functionality and lifestyle. The method can also be hard to follow if you live in a climate with less than four seasons, again, leaving you feeling really restricted and maybe even bored with your wardrobe. In some cases, the method won't necessarily teach you to buy less because you will end up composing a stereotypical neutral capsule wardrobe that doesn't take into account your true style and lifestyle. And so you end up buying more out of confusing or discontent with your wardrobe. So while I do still love capsule wardrobes and I haven't lost faith in them at all, that's not what this video is about, I do believe that while I used to think it was crucial to have a very minimal and aesthetically looking wardrobe and a very specific number of items in my closet, I use the method more as a way to keep order in my wardrobe today. It's a way to keep things structured so that I get a bird's eye view of my entire wardrobe so it's easier for me to put together outfits and also discover gaps if there are any. But I'm no longer so concerned with going through my storage mid-season if I'm feeling bored or if I'm missing something in my wardrobe because truth is life is dynamic, the weather can be kind of crazy sometimes and so many things can impact your wardrobe and ultimately what will be the most meaningful and functional pieces for you to have in it. So a more fluid approach is definitely the way forward 
to me today. So unless you really enjoy this way of structuring your wardrobe, then you might want to consider a different approach. To me, I definitely find it easier to get dressed with the capsule wardrobe system because I keep certain things in storage, kind of like out of sight, out of mind, especially out of season pieces. When they're not in my wardrobe, I don't have to worry about them or spend energy on those. And instead I can focus on what I can actually wear. So I do somewhat benefit from the strict rules surrounding capsule wardrobes, but it might not be the case for you. It all depends on things like the climate you live in, what your style is, and it certainly shouldn't make things harder for you. So the goal with following the capsule wardrobe method is of course to make things easier. And if this isn't the case, then try something else. Maybe it's more a matter of getting the contents of your wardrobe to fit your lifestyle, to find your true style and a handful of styling tools you can use to get more wear out of what you have in your wardrobe, regardless of if you have a small or a large wardrobe. Could also be keeping a well curated wish list of items you want to add to your wardrobe in time, maybe minimizing it to really challenge yourself and learn to be more content and appreciate what you already have more. And as a way to say goodbye to impulse shopping and overconsumption, could also be buying more clothes vintage or secondhand. You need to figure out your own personal style identity all the way from what cuts and fits you like wearing, what materials you like wearing, what colors, and of course, what aesthetics you're mostly drawn to. I think a capsule wardrobe can teach you to minimize and to get to the core of your style for sure, but it could be something worth trying out for you for a while until you find the right path to slow fashion for you. You don't have to stick with it for seven plus years like me. So that's it for today's video, guys. I just really wanted to remind you the importance of keeping a nuanced and open discussion when speaking slow fashion and capsule wardrobes in general. Just know that I'm cheering on you no matter what, no matter if you're following capsule wardrobe principles or not. I know you're doing your best and I think we should just keep on celebrating our own unique style and path into less consumption, no matter what that looks like. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. I would love to have you around. With that, Take care and I will see you hopefully very soon with another video. Bye guys.